What is up, everybody? MJ Knight here, and I got another video. This time it is on potential BPL upgrades. So let's get to it. Now, I'm going to be talking about players that are potentially going to get upgrades, and everybody that I'm going to show you here has an upgrade in head to head. Whether or not they'll get upgraded, we will see. But Diego Costa is one of those players that I believe deserves an upgrade. He's rated 87 in head to head. Of course, he's a leading goal scorer in the BPL. So I think he'll get one. Uh, what his new inform will be at, we don't know. He's an 85 right now. So if he goes to an 87, that super inform would become an 89. And that would just make it an absolutely disgustingly good card. Um, now, whether or not all of the people that are upgraded or that are upgraded in head to head will get an upgrade in ultimate team will remain to be seen of course what ea did last year was something completely new than they were doing in years past and as a result everybody's expecting them to do the same thing this year but we don't know if that's the case um if they do that though what i would suggest is picking up a klein and a Fonte possibly from Southampton because Klein, if he does get an upgrade based off his head-to-head -head rating, which he's a 79, this card will become obsolete, therefore making it really fucking expensive uh, because I believe that's the best right back in the BPL for that rating, silver 74 rating. Uh, Andy Carroll is also rated in head-to-head -head higher, uh, but of course, I think he deserves one. He's been playing pretty good this season. But we don't know. EA is just kind of weird. I mean, they did give fucking Benteki and Lukaku an upgrade last year. Remember that, guys? Yeah, that was pretty stupid. So that's what I'm saying is that we don't really know exactly what EA is going to do. And, of course, even though I'm showing you players that possibly will get upgrades, we don't know how many uh, they will pick in the end. I don't know the exact number. Um, I think they did a bunch of silver players last year, but they did do quite a bit of handful uh, of golds and some that nobody expected. So that's what I expect this year too. I think they're going to do some fucking weird upgrades that nobody expected. But Super Informed Sanchez, I definitely is deserving one of one. He is rated 86 in head to head, and that would make this card an 88 if he does get an upgrade. Now, what does that mean uh, to some people that are asking, how is it going to become an 88? Well, what happens is that EA releases another card that basically uh, the old non-inform, the 80 form, would become obsolete and the new one would become available in packs. Therefore, making these super informs even higher in rating because they won't be the same rating as whatever comes out in the new ones in the packs. Now, um, as I mentioned, some players that I'm showing you won't be getting upgrades, but are still good candidates. I think Santi Casorla is a good candidate to invest in. I picked him up for about 290 the day of the team uh, last, just yesterday actually, the end of the team of the week for last week. And if he gets an upgrade, he will be a good candidate because he's rated 87 in head to head. So it's a potential upgrade. Now we know David De Gea will be getting one, but I mean, is he really worth a million at this point? If he gets upgraded to an 85, which would make this an 87 because it's super inform, I don't know if it would be worth a million. I think he's already pretty expensive. Um, in my eyes, there are certain cards that are already too expensive to invest in. But then again, uh, because the market is so unpredictable and I'm just kind of going off of the years past, maybe these prices won't stop. And maybe if you see one that is a good deal, maybe you should just go with it, uh, go with your instinct. And I feel like that's the number one thing when with trading. Uh, people always ask questions and, and do things. But in reality, you have to go with your instinct. Um, sometimes there isn't any, any time to act or ask anybody else. And you just see a really good deal on the market and you just got to go for it. Uh, so I would suggest that if you see something on the market during these times uh, that just looks too good to pass up, I would say pull the trigger. Now, I'm going to show you uh, super informed David Silva in a little bit. And I want to just talk about him because I think he's a good investment. He's rated an 88. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. He's rated 89 in head-to-head, -head, which would just make him absolutely, absolutely disgusting as a super informed, which would make him 91. Now, of course, I mentioned not everybody will be getting upgrades, but as a result... If he does, could you imagine that card being a Manchester City card? Uh, he's about 500k right now, but if you pick him up and he gets an upgrade, that card easily goes for a million. So that's what I'm saying. Some of these moves might be riskier. Some of these moves just might make sense to you. Uh, nobody knows exactly who's going to get upgraded, so this is all speculation. I hope you guys just take that with a grain of salt. Anyways, I'm running out of time. Please like and subscribe, guys. Peace.